how Ramaphosa bodyguards respond to an attack. In the event of an attack targeting President Cyril Ramaphosa, his security guards would respond swiftly and effectively to neutralize the threat and ensure his safety. Here's how they might respond. 1. Immediate protection. The personal security detail assigned to President Ramaphosa would promptly react to the attack. Their primary objective would be to shield the president from harm and move him to a secure location away from the immediate danger. 2. Threat assessment. The security guards would quickly assess the nature of the attack, identifying the number of assailants, their weapons, and any potential accomplices. This information would help them formulate a tactical response and coordinate with other security personnel. 3. Defensive posture. The security guards would establish a protective perimeter around the president, forming a human shield to intercept any physical threats. They would employ their specialized training in close quarters combat, defensive tactics, and use of firearms to neutralize the attackers while minimizing risks to the president and innocent bystanders. 4. Communication and Coordination The security guards would maintain constant communication with each other, utilizing secure radio channels and earpieces. They would also coordinate with the control room and other security teams to relay information, request support if needed, and provide real-time updates on the situation. 5. Evacuation and escape routes. Depending on the circumstances, the security guards would identify the safest and most efficient escape routes to evacuate the president from the immediate danger. They would navigate through predetermined secure areas, utilizing their knowledge of the venue or location to ensure a swift and secure exit. 6. Engagement and Neutralization If the attack is ongoing and the security guards are unable to immediately retreat with the president, they would engage the assailants with precision and decisive action. Their priority would be to neutralize the threat swiftly and effectively while minimizing the risk of collateral damage. 7. Emergency Medical Response in the event of injuries sustained by the president or anyone else, the security guards would have training in first aid and emergency medical response. They would provide immediate medical assistance to stabilize the situation until professional medical personnel arrive on the scene. 8. Post-incident investigation. Following the attack, the security guards would assist law enforcement agencies in gathering evidence providing witness statements and collaborating in the investigation to apprehend the attackers and determine any potential security lapses that need to be addressed. It's important to note that the specific response would depend on the nature and severity of the attack, the location, and the available resources. The security guards are extensively trained to handle various scenarios, and their response would be guided by their training, experience, and adherence to established security protocols.